Hello everyone, Andrew here, and welcome back to Donkey Kong Country 2. Last time we destroyed Captain K. Rule, and man, I am still super happy about that. And this time we are going to start doing some of the Lost World levels. Now, uh, these levels are pretty crazy, and uh, they encompass a lot of kind of the more weirder and difficult things that you encounter, you know, throughout the entire game. Uh, so prepare for them to be a little bit trickier than things that we have seen so far, especially, you know, as we go on to the later levels in the Lost World. But here we're going to continue our file right where we left off. And yeah, that just dumps you back out onto the overworld. So uh, yeah, we're not even in Funky's flights right now. As you can see, we have exclamation marks and DK coins on everything. Now we want to go all the way back to the second world because the first world did not have uh, kind of a toll booth to the Lost World. That was first introduced here. And we were going to spend 15 of our hard-earned creme coins at Clubba's Kiosk to enter the first level of the Lost World and finally see what is inside this golden barrel. So there we go. Pay 15 creme coins. So we're down to 60. Your best mateys now. Okay, so this takes us to the Lost World. So every time you go to the Lost World, you have access to a level kind of a way to get back to whatever world you came from, and Cranky. So let's see what Cranky has to say here. <laughs> this is our trainee here. I didn't expect you to find this place, Sonny. You must have got lucky. Now that you're here, I better tell you about it. So, I mean, the Lost World isn't exactly hard to find. I mean, it's right there on the overworld map. Now, this here is the Kremlin's Lost World, and that big crocodile head in the middle is where you need to get to if you're going to finish this silly game properly. So, that's kind of what we are out to do at this point. Uh, but to get there, you have to be Captain K. Rule and complete all the bonus levels, as well as a task, I'm sure, is well uh, beyond you, uh, beyond the whippersnapper uh, like you. Uh, I don't know if I'm, if, uh, if I'm doing this... I don't know why I'm doing this, but here are some ridiculously cheap hints for you, uh, which I'm sure you'll be needing as well. So yeah, Cranky still sells us tips, and he pretty much, you know, taunts us about, man, this is the lost world and you will never beat it, but we are here to, you know, kind of prove him wrong, and everything is two, and yeah, this kind of shows you all of the lost world levels, and there are one, two, three, four, five of them, which makes sense, though, considering 75 divided by 15 is five. And we're going to need to beat all of those, and don't come back without a sack full of tokens. Yeah, I kind of just, you know, went back to the title screen, so I don't really have any money to give you. But without further ado, Jungle Jinx is the first level of The Lost World. Now, you may be thinking, you know, are there bonus games in Lost World levels? Because we have all of the bonus coins that you're going to need to pay these, uh, you know, the creme kind of guards. And the way that bonus games work in The Lost World is every single bonus game gives you a DK coin, and every level has exactly one bonus game, because of course only, uh, you know, every level only has one DK coin. So, uh, there are still bonus games, and that uh, that is, you know, going to be something that we need to find, because we need all of the DK coins now, because we are up to 34. And yeah, the gimmick in this level is these rolling tires. Uh, tires were a big thing in the first Donkey Kong Country game. They were almost like, you know, springboards in the... I did not mean to roll right into you. Uh, they were almost like springboards in Mario World. Whoa, okay. Andrew's not playing super well for whatever reason. I mean, I guess it's, you know, a typical thing. Um, yeah, tires were kind of like springboards um, from Super Mario World. As they, you know, they allowed you to get to higher places. But in this game, um, they hardly ever appear except for in this level where they roll around. And uh, you need to bounce on them with perfect timing in order to get by a whole bunch of crazy obstacles. So, um, yeah, it's kind of here. We gotta, you know, bounce long. And something just fell from the top of the TV, but oh well. I uh, gotta bounce on this guy. I did not time that very well, although there we go. Halfway point. Um, but yeah, as you can see, kind of tricky. Um, it is the first lo Lost World level, so this is definitely not you know as hard as things are gonna get. And this is like Andrew. This is the easiest post game that we've ever seen. No, do not start thinking that yet because that is most certainly not the case. Also, yeah, these these ones you know, bounce you really high for whatever reason. Now, where are we going here? Um, I have to admit that some of the things in the Lost World levels I don't remember too well. Like, where is the bonus game in this level? I I think I remember, although I'm not 100% sure about it. And here we even have some barrel shenanigans. We haven't seen too many barrel shenanigans in this game. Unlike in Donkey Kong Country 1 where it seemed like every other level had, you know, perfectly timed barrel shenanigans. This game, you know, there's only a very few specific places with them. And also, I guess we can get a coin. Cranky will be very happy. I guess, uh, you know, two coins we can save. Well, this is still only the first level of the Lost World, so nothing to really worry about yet. And yeah, I gotta time that, and that, and that, and you, and you, and you. Too bad there is no kind of bonus for bouncing on consecutive enemies here. Also, we got that. Very nice. And I do not like you. You are a jerk, because, you know, you can kind of throw us into the thing. Okay. Okay. Don't fall for it. 
Do not jump into that barrel, because the bonus game, I believe, is back here? No, it has to be back here. The bonus game has to be behind the exit. I can swear it was. Am I remembering this wrong? Did I miss the bonus game somewhere? Maybe I did. For some reason, I maybe I'm thinking of another Lost World level, but I can swear that the bonus game was hidden behind the exit to the level. Okay. Okay. Andrew is already missing secrets. Ugh. And I missed the O somewhere, too. Also, I guess I never really mentioned it. This is, of course, a new theme of level, the kind of Lost World jungle theme. Um, and that is only seen in the Lost World, and it appears in pretty much every single Lost World level, but man. So I guess, you know, if, if I was ready to give in, we could go and pay for Cranky's Hint, which may or may not actually end up helping us. But uh, we're going to have one more look for this, because, yeah, I'm not actually entirely sure where I missed it. Um, we'll make this quick. Oh, yeah, we got the dance back there last time. I'm pretty sure it's somewhere near the bottom of the screen where it's not easy to notice. Because, you know, you're always bouncing around. It's kind of, you know, sometimes you're not always looking down, almost like the DK coin, um, in a certain other level. Although we're also going to check higher up places, too. You just never know uh, what you're going to get. There's no walls that break open in this level. I know that for sure. Um, not going to go for the coin. Jump over you gonna do this. I mean, I guess I could cut here, but this level's not super long, nor difficult. It, it could be up in the sky here. If we follow a tire this way. Actually, no. Where is the tire, even? I could swear that we just had a tire here. Okay, maybe not. Is there anything above that guy? It does not look like it. Let's see. Where are our secrets here? Not down that hole. Possibly around here. Maybe? Nope. I mean, it would make more sense if it was higher, but I'm pretty sure that's the trick, where they make you think, you know, everything is... Oh, I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it. I noticed that little area last time, but I didn't, for some reason, clue in that it might actually be a secret. There we go. There we go. I got it. I didn't even get the obvious. Who cares? I noticed there was a little gap there, but for some reason I didn't clue in that maybe the floor would kind of continue to the left. I thought I would just get kind of stuck between the spikes and the wall. Um, but anyway, here is the bonus game of the level that I should have noticed. Um, this points out that you actually can kill these useless blue guys by throwing, you know, one of your partners into them. Uh, not something that we really needed to do throughout the main game, but, you know, it was easy enough to do there. And that gives us DK coin number 35. There we go. We don't even need to beat the level again, so we can start select right out of that, and we can talk to Cranky Kong, because I am interested in seeing what he has to say about this level. Shouldn't Dixie just be a token female princess waiting to be rescued instead of a main character? Wow, this game would be, like, thrown out the window and sued millions of times, as that was said these days. Um, I can recommend the really expensive ones, although they're all actually the same price. Jungle Jinx. Just before halfway, take time to look back at what you've done. Okay, so that... So that was actually a pretty useful hint, if we you know. Like, I was just so stumped that I could not find it. I'm going to start up those stupid crocodiles. Okay. So with that, that is one world completed. And we now must use Funky's flights to travel to world number three. And of course he's free because we have paid for him multiple times at this point. Krem Way. Okay. Or actually, no, someone pointed out, I think it was Krem Key. Is Q-U-A-Y for some reason is pronounced key. I believe that was pointed out. And don't ask me why. <laughs> I hate things that are not pronounced like they look. Clubba's kiosk. And we're going to dish out another 15 doubloons. Arr, mateys. Back to the Lost World once again for Black Ice Battle. And this is, of course, Cranky is kind of the same in every world. And the entrance is, but the place that you will go always kind of changes. So yeah, Black Ice Battle. And as you can see, you can't access any of the other levels from here, even ones that you've beaten, which is really annoying. Unlike in Donkey Kong Country 3, where they're all, you know, in the exact same place. But oh well. Black Ice Battle. And in the case, you know, you couldn't tell from the name. Ice Level! Oh man, I am kind of want to keep Dixie safe in case we need her. Although at the same time, uh, she could be very useful. This whole level is kind of a downward descent on, you know, slippery platforms. And you can probably see how this is not going to go super well. Because, yeah, you have zingers all over the place, and just you need to make precise jumps, and you need to make precise jumps with zingers around, and then you get this guy coming after you. Ugh. <laughs> oh, wow. I I'm surprised, actually, that didn't break when it hit the red one. It went right through it. And, yeah, lots of hills. These guys are super annoying, because if you don't jump high enough, you'll go right into their face. And it's just not so great. Okay, go over you, over you. Yeah, Dixie can cheat past all of this, which is pretty nice, but I'm pretty sure I want to keep her safe. Also, how do I want to do this? <laughs> I 
That was me trying to be too safe, and I completely destroyed myself. Wow. I was trying to do a thing where, you know, I threw Dixie up and over, and she would have landed, and it would have taken Dixie, uh, Diddy there, but... Wow. <laughs> I, I was, I, that death was worth it, just because it was so ridiculous. Anyway. Uh, now that I know what's coming up, we don't need to be so cautious. We can just kind of, you know, blaze through all of this garbage. Like that, and that. I guess we'll just do it, you know, the normal way next time, because why not? Also, yeah, I figured that guy would follow along. And how come my bananas were just floating out in space? And that guy cannot get up a simple hill. I feel bad for him. Okay. Wow. Yeah, so luckily, um, when you take damage, you get a little bit of a jump. So I was able to use that there uh, to go ahead and get Diddy, which is nice. And wow. Forgot about that. We're going too fast now. And yeah, I knew that you were going to come out there. So yeah, basically last time I died for no reason, which kind of sucks. Wow. Last level went great. This level, not so great. Ice levels are always like the bane of my existence. People complain about water levels, but I mean, at least like, I don't think water levels in video games are that bad. I think ice levels are like where the difficulty lies. Is you know, slipping all over the place and especially vertical levels. Nobody likes vertical levels ever. Ever. Okay, so got that, got that, got that. This time we will be serious, I swear. <laughs> so much for that idea. Um, gotta go there. Okay. Let's take our time and not talk so much. That seems to help. Okay, got that. Where is the bonus game in this level? That is the question. Slowly jump over you guys. We can work our way up here. Do that. Yeah, there are lots of those one-up stealing guys in this world, but see, that's what I mean, because those guys aren't actually introduced um, until World 6, and yet this is a World 3 Lost World level, so um, you kind of need the, like, you know, there's there's definitely things that you haven't seen yet in the Lost World level, so I should, should I follow the bananas or should I not? I don't believe that you miss anything really, like, important that way, so we're not going to worry about it too much. Here's the halfway point. Here's a DK barrel. But which way do we really want to go? This way seems more difficult. Here's a banana guy. We don't really care. Okay. Make sure we're not missing anything. But yeah, the vertical levels, there's there's not too many of them. I mean, especially in any video game. Well, obviously, you know, horizontal levels take the cake. Um, but yeah, so vertical levels are always interesting to see. Whoa, I don't know why I risked that at all, but uh, we came out of it okay. Which is nice. Um, yeah, so if you go to the right here, what do we have? I could have used that guy to bounce on. Can we make this jump still? Yes, we can. We can do that. And, oh, a cannonball. That's right. We have an upcoming cannon. So we're going to do that. That. I'm going to take this with me. But where is the cannon? <laughs> that guy. Man, those guys just get stuck. And I almost feel sorry for them, but not quite. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Um, you do not slide downwards very fast when you have... Um, the cannonball in your hand. Also, this, this. Whoa, is the color glitching out on that? <laughs> okay. Um, let's hope. Okay, it fixed itself. That's kind of weird. I don't know if it normally does that. I don't believe it does. That is very bizarre. Um, anyway, we only really get one shot at this because the cannonball, you know, something that we can't just easily go back and get. So find the token, but let's not panic. Let's take our time. Let's just do this thing. Okay, that was nowhere near as difficult as I was anticipating. Um, number 36, with Dixie, that is super easy. With Diddy, that would probably suck a lot. <laughs> so make sure you have Dixie, is uh, my only really, you know, real advice for that bonus game. Also, we have the G, so we should be approaching the end any second now. Those jumps were very bad. Yeah, like I was saying at the beginning of this level, uh, Dixie is someone that you definitely want to have as much as possible because, man... Uh, tricky stuff going on here. Two, three, four, okay. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Oh, no! I'm usually very good at getting what I want. Although, actually, that works out perfectly because having two coins allows us to once again visit Cranky Kong. So, you know what? In the end, not getting yet another one up, um, well, it was actually kind of a good thing. Black Ice Battle. After the slope with the letter N, press right as you fall and you will have a ball. Wow, Cranky, you are ridiculous. Now buzz off and let me work on my all on, on my new game design. So what would he even mean by that? Is he like building a new game or is he like redesigning the levels somehow? 
Is that they're like, you know, more difficult? I don't know. Although if he is doing that, I completely approve. But with that said, that is two of the Lost World levels down, leaving well, well, well not, not necessarily one to go. We'll probably do one more in this part, but there are still three more to go. And the next one that we're going to be doing is in Crazy Kremlin. And we really need to go all the way to the end. Go all the way through all this craziness. Out the back door to Clubba's Kiosk once again. And we're going to pay him once again. And we're going to go into the barrel once again. And we're going to go right up here to Clobber Carnage. And let's see what we have in store in this level. This level... Yes, yeah, so Clobbers are these guys in all of their different color variants thereof. Um, you can probably tell I'm not going to be a super massive fan of this level because these guys suck a lot. <laughs> okay. Why am I going for 10 bananas? Why am I even risking my life? For 10 bananas and a coin. The one thing I said I would never, ever risk my life on. Okay. You can kind of hear their scream from off screen. And it's just like, oh god, I'm about to be destroyed. Um, also, this level, yeah, here's another one of those things where I was talking about Lost World levels have that you don't really see too much of in the main game. And, that, and those are, of course, those, you know, character face barrels. Now, it is kind of tricky sometimes because it's like, which one should I go in? And, okay. There we go. And yeah, again, another kind of barrel we haven't seen too much of throughout the game are these timed ones that you have to spin around. Not always the easiest thing to use, but luckily we got through that pretty well. Nothing down here. Okay. We got the yellow ones. Not too big of a deal. And there's the black one. Ugh. Okay, yeah, wow, I actually got my life back. Um, I, again, is there really any reason to use Dixie? Because you could easily just kind of cartwheel jump that. I don't think that the game developer really thought this part through, where you could just easily, you know, kind of do that and just, you know, get the O that way. But, you know, whatever, whatever they want. Alright, ugh. Oh, hey, hey, Diddy, Diddy's face disappeared from this barrel. Or when you go in it once, do their faces disappear so that anyone can go in it? Or is it just a glitch? <laughs> this game is full of so many glitches today. You know, I should have saved after that last level, because knowing my luck, we're going to freeze any second now. Um, okay, so we did not get bananas up there. But we probably could have actually done this. Okay. Not smart! <laughs> Andrew trying new things doesn't usually work out super well. Also, also wow, this is needs to be very well timed. Um, okay. Okay. Not going to complain. Uh, there are little wooden things here you can stand on, but there's not much point. Also, um, we got that. And that. Okay. Did I miss anything this way? Just some bananas. Alright, so far so good. Much better than the last level anyway. Okay. Let's proceed on. We have more of these guys, of course. What else would you expect? How do we... Okay, there's TNT up there. No, no, no. I knew that was coming. Blow you guys up. Can we go up here? Is there anything hidden here? No, there's not. That would have been the perfect place for a bonus game. Alright. Alright. So we got that. That. Oh, this is tricky. We need to be quick and follow this along. All the bananas. Hey! Alright. And I don't need that, so... So wait, what was the point of the Dixie Barrel if I was easily able to get the bananas anyway? Maybe it would have like teleported us to the end? I don't know, but we made it through that almost scratch-free. So we're not going to complain too much. Uh, another one of you guys. Getting the you know kind of hint here. Hey, Dixie's face was disappearing on that barrel. That's, that's funny. Okay, who do we want to be? Can we get a look here at what's coming up? Okay, we got that. 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 Uh, uh, ugh. Okay. Careful, Amy. Careful. Careful. Okay. Good. 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 I don't know why I always risk it for bananas. I always say I'm not going to, but then I do it anyway, and it never ends well. Just like that. Like that. Ugh, these jumps make me very nervous. Those are so tricky. Okay. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Okay. 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 Not okay. Yes. Destroy you. Okay. Now, that arrow. I'm pretty sure this is the level I was thinking where there's a bonus game over here. Yes, there is. It's definitely that banana right there is a bonus game. If I go into this, 
Will it shoot me up there? Yes, it will. There we go. And the bonus game barrel doesn't even have a bonus sign on it, which is really funny. Um, I think I at one point talked about, are there any invisible bonus barrels in this game? So yeah, there is definitely one uh, for the record books. But here we go. Destroy them all. Invincibility time. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Invincibility time. You're dead. 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 Thank you very much. Good day to you. There we go. 37 DK coins. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> yes, Diddy. Wrapping it up. Oh. <laughs> I never stopped talking that whole level. Okay, and just for fun, what does Cranky have to say about that? Come on in, have yourselves a look, and uh, buy some of this trash, why don't you? Okay, Clobber Carnage. Uh, down may be out, but right picks you up. Okay, that is the most useless hint ever. Not, nothing that, that there really says, you know, look past the exit. Down may be out. Oh, okay, but so it's pretty much saying at the very end, if you shoot downwards, it ends the level, but shooting right takes you to the bonus game. Still, that's very cryptic if you don't know beforehand where the bonus game is hidden. And yeah, that was, of course, the uh, the bonus game I was thinking that was hidden, you know, behind the target. All right, then. And with that said, three levels down, two to go. I think we're going to save the remaining stuff for next time, so... With that said, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Those were three crazy levels. And yes, the craziness continues next time. So thanks, and see you later.